Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be continuing our marble journey. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. More on that later in the video. This is a continuation of the last marble video where I made a prototype of a marble elevator. So if you haven't seen that video, check the eye in the corner and check it out. So I haven't really explained what I'm going for here. Uh, I actually plan to make a dinosaur themed marble track. So the goal is for this to be a fun little electronics and printing project that people can create on their own or with their kids if they want to do that. I haven't planned the whole thing out yet, but I knew that I wanted some of the main super recognizable dinosaurs to be featured, and I wanted to incorporate some of them into the actual track. But not only that, I wanted to have uh, multiple tracks that the marbles can go down, so the plan is to have the dinosaurs interact with the track as the marbles go along. Uh, it's an ambitious plan, but I think I can get there, hopefully. My track record isn't great with electronics, but... So before I go into the details on that, here's a look at the track as a whole. Um, this might change as I go along, but this is what I'm thinking right now. Um, right now, there are two main tracks that lead into a funnel, and that will take them basically to the base of the elevator. There's also a spot where marbles can be knocked off and just fall into the funnel. So those are the main attractions, but there will be other things going on around the track as well. The first attraction is at the start of the track. Um, this is where the marbles can either continue on the first track or get shifted to the second track. And for this one, I thought it would be fun to have a T-Rex chomping down on the track and that's how it will actually change to the other track. So the requirements were that I have the top of a T-Rex skull that can chomp down onto the track and then somehow it needs to drop the marble onto the track below. And I should also mention that I'm really bad with mechanical engineering and design, so don't expect anything crazy here. I thought the best way to have the marble fall is just to lower the portion of the track um, down like a little trap door. Then the teeth of the T-Rex would be able to stop a marble in place and it would have nowhere to go except to roll down the trap door. This is a look at the mechanics that I came up with. There's nothing crazy here, it's pretty simple. There's a cylinder that allows the trap door to rotate down and then there's an arm that attaches to both the little trap door thing and the plank that will eventually be the T-Rex head. That way when the plank moves down, the trap door will move down as well. Then the only thing left was to put a little blocker in there to stop the marble from rolling past the door. Like I said, it's nothing crazy, but it's surprisingly hard to come up with stuff like this, or at least it is for me. Also, I should mention again that I'm just testing mechanics here, so there's no dinosaur models yet. Um, I plan to get this whole thing functional, then once I know it works, I'll go back through and design the dinosaur stuff on top of it. Also, we just printed this on draft settings, so don't mind the print quality. Don't yell at me in the comments. Actually, you can yell at me if you want, but be nice about it, please. Before we go any further, I want to talk about this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes covering all sorts of different skills. There's a premium membership that gives you full access to the classes. So if you're trying to pick up a new creative skill, Skillshare can help you with all the skills you want to learn. It's a great place to fuel your creativity and point you in the right direction. For example, if you want to learn more about 3D printing and CAD design, there's a bunch of Skillshare classes that tackle subjects like that. Um, in the last video, I mentioned that I've been wanting to get better at the whole social media thing. So continuing on that journey, I started watching a class by Marquez Brownlee called YouTube Success Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD. Um, he's really good at breaking things down into an easy to follow process. Um, and also, I know a ton of people that watch this channel are um, looking to get better at 3D modeling. So they have a bunch of courses along those lines for a variety of programs like Blender and ZBrush. So whether you're trying to learn something new or improve your knowledge on an existing skill, Skillshare is an extremely useful tool. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so that you can stay focused and follow wherever, you're, wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Another classic dinosaur is the pterodactyl, or actually I think it's a pterosaur? I don't actually know. I'm not an expert in any of this. Uh, anyway, I wanted to add one flying around and causing chaos. So the idea was to have it circling above the track and knocking the occasional marble off. Uh, this one was a bit sketchier because it's hard to knock something off a track and control where it falls, but um, uh, we're gonna try it. We may lose a few marbles along the way. But it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. 
And for this one, I actually enlisted the help of our newest team member, Dylan. Um, he's been learning how to model, so I tasked him with coming up with the uh, pterodactyl, silent P, mechanics. So everybody, welcome Dylan to the team down in the comments. I'll get him on camera soon so you can meet him formally. I just didn't want to put him on the spot right away. Um, so this is what he came up with. It's basically a rotating platform that has an arm with a scoop on the end of it. So it'll circle around and scoop up a marble as they pass. Um, then it'll just fall onto the funnel below, hopefully. Um, afterwards, after we get this all working, I will just design the pterodactyl around the arm and I think it'll work pretty good. So those are the main two things that will interact with the marbles, along with the elevator, I guess. Um, which, as far as the elevator goes, I plan to make it into a giant tree that the marble will kind of just pass through. Um, I don't know, that might change though, we'll see. As for other dinos on the track, I'm gonna have a stegosaurus on that bottom piece, I think. Um, that will bounce the marbles around on the spikes on his back, just for a bit of added visual fun. Then I think I'm gonna add some velociraptors around the scene. You gotta have velociraptors. Then there will probably just be a bunch of trees and grass um, and stuff like that to complete the scene. But like I said, we'll go over all that in a future video when I actually get there. So this is what I have to show for now. Most of the mechanical pieces are in a somewhat functional state and that was a lot of the hard part for this. So for the next video, I think we will jump into some electronics and see if we can actually get this thing running. So let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and get subscribed. And thank you for watching. Until next time, keep creating. Whoa.